Hi, my name is Hope Kaya. This is a short tutorial on how to edit a web page using Joomla, and it assumes that your website is designed using Joomla. Joomla is a content management system. That's why I've chosen it, so that my clients can manage their own content. Joomla also enables you to build websites and powerful online applications. You can read more about it at joomla.org. So the first thing you need open is your web page that you want to work on. And this one looks different than a lot of Joomla sites because I designed the template from scratch. It's not a standard Joomla template and you have the freedom to, to redesign these templates as you want. Um, and so you need the website open that you're going to work on and I've got it open. You also need your administrative area open, which is the same address as your website, only with administrator after a forward slash. So you should have a username and password, and then you log in. And let's say you want to edit an existing web page. Joomla calls these articles, not pages, but articles. So you go into the article manager, and you'll see a list of all the articles. You may have a long list, and um, this is very short because we're just starting the site. And none of these pages have categories or sections assigned because it's going to be quite a small site. But if they did and it was a long list, you could just choose the category you're interested in and it would isolate those pages or those articles. Another way to find an article is to put a keyword from the title in this field. And then I've done that. I've put impact in there and I'm hitting go that's going to reduce the list to two, which is the two that have impact in their title. And I want to work on the one that is the home page of my website, and I know this is the right one because it's, it's got a green check mark under the front page column. So I'm going to click that one, and I would like, let's say you wanted to paste some more text in here that you worked on in Word. You can just put your cursor where you want the text to go, and then hit return perhaps and then choose control V if you're on a PC or command V if you're on a Mac once you have selected and copied the text from your document you just do that choose control V or command V and then you that will paste it into this area and then you can format it and basically you do want it to be formatted you can see when I select a paragraph here that it says paragraph here in the format drop-down. You don't want it to say format. Format would actually mean format me please because I'm unformatted and as a rule you want your text to be formatted. If it's a heading, you'll see here this is a heading 1. I selected it and it shows me it's a heading 1. If it were a paragraph but I wanted it to be a heading 1, which is the biggest heading of all, I can just choose that from the drop-down. You can see here that the second heading is a heading 2, and that's properly formatted. If you want to edit your text, you can select it and choose bold or italic. Don't choose underline. I, I highly recommend that you don't because it will look like a link to people who are viewing your site and it will confuse them. They're going to want to click on it. Now I'm going to undo the bold and italic here, but you can play with these other buttons as if you're in Word, okay? Now let's say you want to add an image. So I'm going to click and hit return where I want my image to go, and I'm going to look for my image on my hard drive, which means I'm not going to select this little image icon which doesn't actually let me browse for an image. I'm going to scroll down, go to this big image button, and that will let me, that takes me to my default folder where all the images go. Now you might have a subfolder where you want this next image to go, in which case you would click on that subfolder and the image will go there. But I'm just going to browse and find the image I want. And let's click on an image and choose. So I'm, I'm on my hard drive. I'm, I'm browsing for an image. And yours might look different if you're on a PC, but it's the same idea. Choosing open. So now I have to upload it. Okay, so I'm starting the upload. 
And now, hmm, where is it? I have to scroll down to find it. There it is. So I don't think I actually want that. I could choose it, but I think I actually want one that's already here. And so I'm clicking on it. You have to select it in order for it to show up. You can't, just because you've uploaded it, it's not going to show up. You have to actually select it and see the image URL here. And then you want to put some text here. This is um, for accessibility for people who are sight impaired, but it's also great for search engines. And then copy it and paste it into the title tag, which, you, which people will see when they roll their cursor over the image. And you can make this longer, uh, and you can make it into a caption, which I like to do. Now I've got my, all these fields are filled now, and I can choose to insert this image. So it's a nice big image, and I want to see what this looks like live. So I'm going to scroll to the top and choose Apply, which makes the changes live on the web but it doesn't take me out of this page, which is nice because I could come right back in and make more changes. So if we go back to the page and refresh the live page on the web, here we see the image. And I've designed my CSS, my cascading style sheets, so that uh, whenever there's an image with a caption, it's given a gray background and the text is smaller and centered. Uh, and your web designer, or maybe you can edit your CSS that way too. So that's how, okay, and now we want to add a page break. So you've learned how to add an image, you've learned how to edit text and paste text, and then you, and format text, and you want to make this page a little shorter so that people go from page to page. Ooh. Look, this text here isn't formatted. You can tell it doesn't have a paragraph tag assigned to it because it doesn't have that same nice spacing. So let's fix that. Let's go down to the paragraph that starts with the one assumption there. So I'm back on the page. I'm scrolling down, scrolling down with the one assumption. Okay, it looks good here, but you can see when I scroll back up, it doesn't have the paragraph tag assigned to it, the paragraph assigned to it. So now I'm going to make sure, yep, it's good now. That's fine. And we're going to have people turn to the next page, so to speak, after this paragraph. We're putting our cursor where we want the next page to happen, and we're hitting page break. And we're going to call this impact event page two. And insert it. You can ignore the alias. Now we're going to apply and we're going to go back to the live page and refresh it, scroll down, and hit the next, which is very nice because it keeps this page at a manageable size for the web. I mean, we could have even done this after my history. That would have been fine. Click next, and now see how that paragraph uh, looks good now? And see how we have this, this new, um, sort of table of contents on both pages where you can go from page to page or see all pages, which puts the whole thing together in one page. This will automatically come up, only it will not look as nice. I, I edited the CSS so that it looks this nicely, but you can do, you know, you can play with your CSS or just leave it the way it shows up, which isn't as pretty, but it, it works really well. Okay, that's it. That's a a tutorial on how to edit a web page in Joomla. My name is Hope Kaya at santafe-webdesign.com. Thank you. Enjoy Joomla.